welcome everyone to Trinidad and Tobago Film Festival 2021 Q&As. I am Samara. Thank you for joining us. This year, our full program will be screened online from September 22nd to the 28th with our new media exhibition available online and in person at Grandison Lab Belmont this Friday 24th and Saturday 25th from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. And feel free to comment and ask questions, any questions you have for the filmmakers, and we will try to answer them during the session. And of course, don't forget, you can check out the films to at watch dot eventive dot org forward slash ttff21 we would also like to thank all our ttff21 sponsors and partners ngc is our signature sponsor this year and we have leading sponsorship from shell trinidad and tobago and republic bank limited so today with me is yanis saint rose i try to say it frenchly <laughs> yeah it's all right <laughs> All right, and, and Yanis was born in Martinique and grew up in downtown Fort de France. He studied advertising in Paris and discovered film production as an assistant on different shoots. Now, after making several music videos, he made his first documentary in Haiti in 2015. Several short fiction projects followed as well as documentaries and video installations. So today he is representing Malnom which he directed. Hello, Yanis. Hello, thanks for having me. It's such, a, it's such a pride for a Caribbean filmmaker to be part of the Trinidad and Tobago Film Festival. So thank you for having me. <laughs> a pleasure. So um, what I want to know, right, is what attracted you to this script? Like, is it from personal experience, the experiences of friends, women, or men? Like, how did this story come about? So this script came from um, an experience. I think it's a personal experience, I would say, where I had to, to uh, attend, I will say, um, this kind of, of, of behavior around me. And I was so confused because um, most of the time we are thinking about ag aggression as against women, like something was to be violent, physically violent. Mm -hmm. And we are not thinking about those little things who, which are like sed sedu seducing, seductive uh, mm -hmm. behavior in the man's mind. Mm -hmm. and which are uh, at the end of the day, uh, um, like when you can you can uh, you can have like one uh, mustico bite, but at the end of the day, if you have like twenty mustico <laughs> bites, it's like yeah. a lot. So yeah. I wanted to to talk about this behavior from the Martinican view because even if it's something that happening everywhere, there is like some specificities. Um, mm -hmm. due also to our colonial past, uh, I mean past, our colonial living yeah. uh, <laughs> still. Um, so yeah, that's what, that's what brings me to this script. And yeah, I, 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 from this experience, I ask uh, to different women situation that happened to them. And mm. I wanted to, to put those experience like in in a movie so right. because I, I i believe i believe like the cinema is a mirror so mm -hmm. it was important for me that men um are able to watch this and understand this this behavior because yeah. i feel like they're not they're not aware that sometimes when you say hey beauty in the streets like it can be like an aggression like mm -hmm. for a woman because yeah. it's in, it's supposed to be cool and uh, yeah. gentle and yeah yeah i thought it really interested because it was a complete inversion you know of, of what the the antagonist went through <laughs> you know the um sorry the protagonist when the he you know when he came home so in shock about everything that was, yeah, just going through it. It was 
perfect, perfect envision. It's exactly what they will, you know, what a woman might experience. So it brings me to what was the casting process like for, for this? Okay, so it's really interesting because the casting is really mixed. There is a lot of amateur in it and a lot of, uh, uh, and not so much. I think we have three professional actor in it. Interesting. Uh, um, it's um, Nelson Rafael Madel, who is the main main uh, actors. Danieli Francisc, um, who is the um, the lady in the um, making making the interview for the the work. Right. Yes. And Rita Ravier, who is the lady in the bar, uh, yelling right. at him. So, yeah. <laughs> she was so brilliant because I was wondering, yeah. like, <laughs> yeah. And so I had in mind because I I know a lot of uh, people in the cast before. Mm -hmm. I had them. Some of them are friends. Some of some of them are people I I saw on things in life, yeah. <laughs> and and I I yes I try to mix that. Um, I had a Milan Mika who who helped me also with the casting. So she's a, she's a friend then who knows a lot of people and have the vision also. So who helped me with the casting. And yes, we did like a, a mix uh, with all those people because at the beginning in my mind, it would be like a short movie. And in my mind, there were no so many people. So it was at the end. I was like, "Oh, there is there are a lot of people," and I was so happy to to achieve this mix between amateur and professional and have the the this level, mm -hmm. like this yeah, feeling it, of yeah. It you really can... seemed leveled. It, you didn't see any disparities. Like if you said mm -hmm. that so when you said that there were um, three professional actors in this entire like i i didn't see it you know mm. it was well blended i thought yeah thank you <laughs> so one thing i noticed though that the subtle visual technique of the jeans from fitted to tight uh it's one it's definitely one of those advertising techniques <laughs> that translated well for film uh, why the jeans as a motive as opposed to something else so I had like, um, I didn't want that the movie look like, um, um, I don't know if it's prevention uh, advertisement, you know, when you're doing those movie to say, don't do that, don't do this. Right. Uh, I don't know, in French it's prevention, spot the prevention, but I don't know yeah. if it's the... So it's but, like a public yeah. service announcement. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. I didn't want that. So... Mm -hmm. Uh, I, I, I try to find a way to tell the story and make it a movie that can be watched in cinema and mm -hmm. tell a story like a fairy, yeah. like a fairy. And that's how I came to the genes because it's, it's also tell a little bit of our history in our belief um, that when you can you do things bad things can happen due to our spirituality and and stuff right. it was a way also to to when you you plan you you seed something those things can grow and yeah it was a way to put a little of our history in it our spirituality in it so when where that's where the the gene came yeah and it was also a real motive because it's the way they say, "Oh, this jean is so tight, you're so sexy." No, no, no. Yes. And and it it wasn't is he didn't put the jean for that, but this thing happened to him. Yes. Yeah. So, is there any real, um, like say, sig like poignant significance that you'd want somebody to take away from, even if they miss the the jeans tightening and <laughs> and becoming fitted to tighten like is there any main 
takeaway you'd want someone looking at this film to leave with? I think, I think, um, I, I have no, I have not, I, I don't have one thing that you have to take away because I, the, the movie is, the la- is there to make you think and make something happen in you, even if it's good or not. And if you, if you have a reaction, it's already good for me. If you have, mm-hmm. you are thinking of, about it like even five minutes it's a win for me it's a win for me uh so i i I wouldn't say i have something in particular uh i would like yeah just the the thinking because it's talking about i try to put a lot of different little thing in it more than so it's 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 always about politics because as as I put also a little bit of the guy when he's going to this interview, they're talking about, oh, you come back to Martinique because we have a lot a lot of young people living to mm-hmm. Europe or all over the world and don't come right. back. So there is a little bit of talking about that. There is mm-hmm. a little bit of talking about when they're coming back also, they're coming back to work like for big groups. Right. Um, that are owned by BK. BK is like old decent direct descent of slave master in ah, Martinique. So okay. there is like a, a lot of different more than the main subject of the movie. Right. So there is little little seeds in the movie. So you if you go out and nothing happened, that's the loss for me. Right, <laughs> yeah, right. Because I was wondering like if you would really like if, if was it just a mirror you know or would you really like a behavior change in the subject matter that was presented within of, of, the film of course i would like uh that's the movie is a, is a seed also the movie yeah. is a seed i i don't i don't know i don't think my movie can change everything but it's if it can be a seed in this this long process because yeah. behind I, I would love. It's not possible right now because of the COVID situation. Un, until now, I wasn't able to do a real screening of the movie with real people. Like, oh, uh, okay. So yeah. it's really important for me that it can be a space of talking, mm-hmm. and and mainly for for men because we are not talking about this thing. We are it talking about a lot, a, a lot of okay. things. But we are not talking about this thing. And if we are talking about those subjects, it's not to go deep in it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So the the project with the the movie in the real world, until now I, I haven't be I, I haven't be able to go to the end of what I would love to do because of mm-hmm. the situation. Awesome. So that's what we, we are doing right now. It's, yes, it's, it's, <laughs> it, it definitely is a conversation piece, yeah, you know, because yeah. even after I watched it, I was like so many things and I, I thought of it more as a discussion that I was like, oh my gosh, what do I even ask? You know, like, because mm. there's so much to say about it. Mm. You know, there's so much that we can discuss around the topic itself and in so many different ways that it's been portrayed and like everything it really was such a strong film that i encourage anybody who can see it to watch it and we really did a great job on this and i know we don't have much time again (laughs) so um i just really want to thank you for taking the time out to even to even have the, the 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 mind and the presence to take up this topic and this mantle to even challenge the male gaze and um you know as a direct mirror and then it also should challenge the female gaze as well because with those roles switching it's like it's so uncomfortable that both both of the um genders can really now question themselves or or humans and the whole how do you interact with somebody else how do you approach someone you're interested in that it's not in a microaggressive or aggressive way you know 
you know, a simple hi could suffice. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, like all these kind of things. <laughs> it's actually interesting because talking about the cast, when we uh, we were doing the reading and the rehearsing, the the ladies working with me in the cast, mm -hmm. a lot of times, so we we write together. They we write because they were like, exactly. oh, on this you are too kind. You yeah. are too kind. You have to go further. So. <laughs> From the, you are talking about the male gaze, it's absolutely that, and it was something discussed during the the making of the movie. Nice. So, oh, I'm thinking about Rita in the bar. The bar, yes, yes. kissing the bar was really really kind at the beginning. She was like, <laughs> "Oh no, 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 Yanis, you're too kind. Yes. We have to go further." Yeah, we can and, see it, you know. <laughs> so yeah. yeah, she make it real. She make it. Looks yes. like real. And she went on and she went in on him. And that was, yeah, it made it so real at that point. Yeah, <laughs> it's really great. Do we have any audience questions, guys? Anything? No, we have about a minute again to facilitate questions and all of this. So, none yet. Okay. All right. <laughs> At first, when I saw it, um, all right, I thought it was a Levi's ad. It was so that scene on the on the train, on the bus. You know, I mm -hmm. was like, oh, okay. <laughs> but yes, there's a lot that can be said about the film. But great, great job. Um, Thank you, uh, Yanis. It was a really really great contribution and it thank really you. was a pleasure to chat with you today thank and, you for having um, me <laughs> thanks everyone for joining us for this q a and don't forget you can still catch all of these great films as they're screening today so check out the film ttfilmfestival.com website where you can find all the information on how to buy tickets and check out the films coming up as well, all right? So thanks, guys, and see you next interview. <laughs> Enjoy. Thanks, Yanis. Thank you.